Okay, he's dead. My name is Matt Fisher. Today's October 25th, 2009. It's the night before the CSI podcast is due. And my entire apartment building has been taken over by terrorists. I've taken shelter here in my kitchen to keep safe. I've got a gun. I had to kill someone to get it. All right, I've gotten everything written out. Should be good to go. Should be pretty quick. What was that? This is starting to get ridiculous. All right, we've got to hustle through this thing. I know this isn't really the ideal scenario, but I really need an A, so here we go. I'm gonna to talk to you about a major technological breakthrough that has revolutionized the film industry. The NLE, or Nonlinear Editor. The first NLE that came on the scene was in 1971. This system was huge and had terrible quality. In fact, there are very few redeemable qualities about this system at all. However, in the early 80s, Lucasfilm had assembled the Edit Droid. This system ran off of huge libraries of laser discs and tapes. Later, in 1985, that's not good. I need to speed things up. Later in 1985, the Harry Effects compositing system proved to be the first all-digital NLE. Later, Avid appeared with Avid One, and the industry took off. Of course, today there are plenty of editors to choose from. There's a version for every level of expertise, from amateur to professional, in every price range in between. This is getting ridiculous. All right, let's keep going. The thing that makes this technology so great is that it can be found on almost any modern computer. That means if you have a modern computer, you can edit. With computers being such a common household item, and with the dawn of digital, of digital video cameras, we have a whole new generation of basement filmmakers. And with NLEs like Final Cut Pro on the market, the industry has taken a turn towards independent films. This means that we will be seeing more and more homemade movies on the big screen. Ah!